Hello, uh, fellow uh, captains. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you, uh, as my last video, how to make all your SciTech panel work with the uh, PMDG 777. Uh, the one I'm using right now is the 200 LR, but it works with the 300 also. Uh, basically, what it does is it makes all your SciTech panel works uh, work perfectly with um, the complex aircraft, uh, as uh, this one right there. So first thing uh, you're going to use is some freeware software as uh, the Linda version 1.13 or the uh, newer one. So I'll post all the link in the description. Download this one here. Uh, SPAD. Uh, this SPAD, what it does, it's just sort of advanced drivers. Um, so if you already have SciTech uh, drivers installed, you can uninstall them and uh, just use SPAD. Uh, and you'll need the PMDG 777 uh, Lua files, which you'll download over here. And now once this is downloaded, you can go uh, take your Linda and extract all the files uh, into your Microsoft Flight Sim X modules folder. It'll add you these two and a bunch of uh, random files. Well, once this is installed, you can also install SPAD and with the uh, 777 Lua file, you'll just extract it, extract it here and it will uh, merge some uh, files in there. Once uh, you've installed, you can fire up Linda by double clicking and you can also uh, use, use it as an administrator so it gives you more pri privileges. Okay, once Linda is fired up, uh, here for me it's written everything is okay but for you, you're, you're going to have setup as required so you just click on it. So if you click on here, it'll somehow look like this just click on save and for the rest even though you don't have an MCP combo still have to click on here and just click on make changes for you um, next thing you can go to set up Linda and click on start with FSX so uh, that makes uh, like with this you will have Linda fired up when you open your flight sim and uh, develop developer mode and associate with Lua. Once this is done, you can fire up your flight sim with uh, the PMG 777. Click on Linda and then go to FSX Sync. Now it will detect that you were using the PMG 777. Go over to joystick. Now this is the fun part. See, I will be programming my uh, battery button on my switch panel to turn on the battery uh, in the aircraft. So I'm, what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to flick it on and see it detects that uh, it's number one of the SciTech ProFlight switch panel so uh, what you're gonna do is on press okay, uh, you click on empty and you're gonna assign a function when this button number one is pressed which is the battery button you're gonna go over to overhead electric battery switch on and on release it's gonna, be, it's gonna be battery switch off click on save and it should be automatically injected in your flight team no need to restart it uh, I'm using the battery switch for the battery button, but it, you can use another function for another button. So for the cowl flaps, I use uh, the emergency light. So it's uh, like you want. Now I'm just going to test it so it really works. I'm just going to click it. So you can see I'm clicking it and it's, it is turning on and off. Uh, now, you can do this for, the, uh, for all the remaining buttons. And also you can do the same for the multi-panel butt, do not touch the rotary knobs. Okay, you can only configure the autopilot heading, nav, indicated airspeed, altitude. I use nav for uh, V nav and indicated airspeed for L nav. And uh, auto throttle, use it for arm flaps up and down, but don't touch the rotary knobs. Uh, why? This is what I'm telling you. Um, the rotary knobs are a bit more complicated because let's say I move this knob six clockwise seven counterclockwise well what happens is uh, let's say you put it for altitude increase and decrease if you use your left knob and put it to heading and turn your right knob to move your heading it's still gonna move your altitude right so that's why we're gonna use pad so if you fire up your spad uh, go to setup and click on what new aircraft is detected bind uh, ask for a profile to bind start spad when no, sorry. Uh, quit spider when flight simulator stops, and uh, you don't you don't have to uh, play with this. Manage profiles. You can create a new profile, and use the PMG NGX special mode and assign your aircraft. Uh, well, triple seven to 
the special profile you just created. Once this is done, you go ahead and can go over to multi panel. Ah, sorry, put it back here. Okay, so once you're in uh, the multi panel section, you can click over to setup. And for the mode selector, you just click on no event for altitude, vertical speed, change offset, change offset, change offset, change offset. Now for the rotary knob, this is get uh, this gets a bit complex. You can fire up your notepad or just write it on a piece of paper. Uh, for the altitude, you're gonna use FSUIPC uh, virtual button. Vertical speed, same thing, same thing, same thing, and same thing. So uh, I'm not gonna use do it for now. I'm just gonna configure my uh, altitude knob. You can do the rest uh, by yourself. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to assign a virtual button for the clockwise of the altitude knob. So I'm going to use 640, and I'm I'm going to note it here. Sorry, 641. And for, oops, for counter clock, uh, for clockwise, I'm going to use 640. So once this is done, just click on OK. Cool. You can fire up your FMC. Go over to PMDG setup, options, key commands, and now what we what we said is altitude clockwise. So it's going to be in the auto flight, I guess. Yes, that's it. So let's say altitude selector increase, which is the clockwise. Okay, so you're going to assign a key combination. So I'm going to use Control Shift One. So I'm going to note it here, altitude clockwise, control, shift, one, sorry. And for the counterclockwise, sorry about that. For the counterclockwise, I'm going to use control, shift, two. Or control, shift, zero, actually, so it's easier for us to uh, understand. On execute, do the same for altitude decrease, control shift zero, and click on execute. So, what we did is we assigned a key command for these two. Uh, now, just use something random that you won't use, so control shift WX because you won't need it, it's just for now. You can go over now to your FSUI PC and uh, go over to button and switches. Now, here's the fun part look. Fire up spot to show you I'm really moving my altitude knob to the right. Okay, move it clockwise. See, it detected 641. Isn't that that we programmed earlier? Now, what you're going to do with this is you're going to click on profile specific and uh, you're going to click select for key press. So now you're saying that I want the 641 virtual button to act as control shift one, which will act as altitude increase. So I'm just gonna click it, con control shift one. Control shift one, sorry. Here we go. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same for 640, select for key press, control shift zero. I have to click on set. Okay. So let me test this and uh, I'll show you that it does work. Just gonna quickly fire up the uh, aircraft panels. Um, I guess. All right. So my display just turned on. That's what's fun with SPAD. When you turn on the battery and power, your display they turn on, because earlier they were turned off. Now let's let's try this thing. This is my right knob. It's controlling the altitude. I'm gonna over and flight sim, and I'm gonna turn over my right knob. And as you see, it is moving, a hundred by a hundred. Now if the other side, it does work. Right, so this is very useful. You can do the same for the uh, heading, indicated airspeed, 
and uh, for the rest now for the VIP panel it's pretty straightforward you go over VIP panel setup and then you just set up uh, your tiles you click on OK and uh, it, it will it will definitely work so on this uh, I'd like uh, to uh, we hope you very nice flights and I know because this is a hassle you know you're buying sidekick equipment but you can't use them so I hope that I've helped you and uh, so like subscribe thank you very much happy flying